If you spend some time in the Antixino community, you may have heard of something called Gotlink Gauss or Gauss Minigun or something of the sort. So what is it? How does it work? And why would you use it? Guardian Gauss cannons work by pressing the trigger, charging the shot, releasing the trigger, waiting for a cooldown period, then starting all over again. Using them can be tedious, especially since, if you followed our academy tutorial, you know by now that you need to stagger your shots. An entirely different way of firing them is to use a single trigger with fire group set in a particular manner, and just keep the single trigger pressed while tapping the next fire group button at a certain rhythm. To set up Gotlin Gauss, all you need to do is to properly configure your fire groups. This screen shows you how to set it up with three weapons. A four weapon setup follows the same logic. If you're into simple macros, you can also set a key press repeat macro for the next fire group button. The minimum intervals are on screen. While Gatling Gauss is often associated with macros, it's important to note that you don't need macros at all to make it work. In fact, it's very easy to do this manually. Why would you use it? There is very little practical reason to use Gatling Gauss. For pretty much all ships, the sustained DPS is the same, while the alpha strike value is lower than the more traditional staggered firing approach. There's only two reasons to use Scotland Gauss in practice. The first one is that for two particular ships that are notorious in having their thermals resulting in heat spikes, Scotland Gauss allows them to sustain their DPS without heat spiking and taking damage. Those two ships are the Eagle and the Furda Lance. The second reason to use Scotland Gauss is just because it looks cool. Especially with a triple shot modified Guardian Gauss cannons, it looks like you're firing a Gauss machine gun. That's it. Have fun. Go try it out and let us know how it goes. There's also a version of this but with shards that I call the Phalanx. Here's a clip of it. I think it's a lot of fun. Let me know if you think it's too.